Joe Homan, um, if you don't know him, he's from Word FM, who has been very gracious with us and really teamed up with us on this event. But Joe, Joe Homan, in the last year of his life, has shed about 100 pounds off of his body. People wouldn't have recognized him uh, if you saw him a year ago, literally. So I, I want him just, you know, just to share a little bit about that and, you know, and what transformed in his life and how he got to where he was. So go ahead, Joe. Oh, thank you for Sorry. being here this morning, um, and I appreciate you indulging me. I know a lot of times when I've sat out in an audience like this and I've listened to someone, I think, yeah, okay, that, that guy doesn't really count. He's done extreme, crazy things. But, you know, this journey for me started uh, about two years ago when my wife had a 40th birthday party for me, and I knew that I wasn't the husband I wanted to be. I knew I wasn't the father I wanted to be. I, I wasn't the friend I wanted to be. There were a lot of things in my life where I wasn't simply effective. And I linked it all back to my diet and how I was feeling. And so I, I started this mantra. I'm going to be in the better, better shape than I was at 24 by the time I'm 42. My 42nd birthday was yesterday. I started off January of 2006 at 296 pounds. Today I'm 210. My body fat, according to the Tanita, was around 27%. Today I'm 13%. You can do this. There's a difference between reacting and responding. Reacting is going from one thing to another. Responding is gathering intelligence, getting a guide, being accountable. You can do this. If you're feeling hopeless, feel hopeful today because you'll walk out of here with the information and knowledge that you need to have to be successful. So thanks for your time and hopefully... You know, uh, Joe, one, one question too, you know, yeah, he lost, you know, 100 pounds. That's all fine and good. But the one thing you always say is, you know, how did that transform your job, your family life? Because your energy levels went through the roof. And the one thing everyone always says is, oh my gosh, it looked like you lost 10 years. You look younger. Because your, your, your skin literally changed. <laughs> well, uh, it was funny because um, I'm, I've, I've been looking at like photos from a couple years ago, and, and literally I, I do not recognize that person. In fact, I hate that person, sadly. When I look at that person, I see a person I don't ever want to see again. Not that he wasn't a great guy and a nice guy and had a good heart in many ways, but he wasn't the guy that I wanted to be. And today my wife says, boy, you have a, we're taking up tennis as a family this year. I would have never dreamed about running around a tennis court. Um, we're just doing things. I have the energy for my children. I'm more patient. I'm more loving. It's kind of like that Tim McGraw song. I'm, I'm the father I always wanted to be. I speak more kindly. So, yes, and, and I thank Dr. Pompa. Dr. Pompa was an answer to prayer. I've been searching. I've done the, the South Beach diet. I've done Atkins. I've done all these things, and I did them very successfully. I proved they can work. And then I worked real hard to get the weight back so I could then prove that Dr. Pompa's plan yeah, because worked. You, you did. When, you came, when he came to the seminar, he says, I've done every diet and, and, and nothing's worked. You know, and, it, and, it's, and this is a lifestyle for me yeah, now. Exactly. So yeah. thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming out.